Hey folks, Pat here from Rain Country, and today I'm going to be uh, carrying some salmon eggs uh, for some steelhead fishing this fall. Um, my nephew, he got uh, gave me a real nice hen, and so I'm going to carry up the eggs for um, do a little bit of fishing this uh, this fall. What you want to do is you want to get all the excess moisture out of your eggs before you get started and the other thing is is if there's any any blood left in in your egg skeins you want to remove that you can remove that with a small spoon or butter knife now most guys they'll get in trouble for doing something like this in the kitchen but Mrs. Rain she likes fresh she likes fresh fish, so she puts up with this kind of stuff. She's pretty doggone gracious. So you see how easy that comes out? You just, just get out the excess blood. Apparently, it, if you don't, that kind of helps to spoil your eggs. You just most of that blood is just going to run right in through this vein here, and you can just brush all that out to that. Let's say like a, like a main artery. You just you can either push it back this way or back towards the front here. There you can see a good bunch of blood coming out here on the end here and you'll just sop that up with a paper towel yeah coming off of there so I'll clean up a little bit of this off of here that's not necessary so I'll just cut that off Another little bloody piece over here. I just cut this off. But you want to keep you want to keep this uh, membrane on the back side of the eggs intact. That's what holds your eggs together. Okay, some guys will take and they'll they'll take a pair of scissors and they'll just lightly cut through the egg sacs here. Um, some guys just turn them up and just just cut them and it might cut a few eggs but it doesn't really hurt them um, just saves a few eggs um, but you'll also notice and I'll do this in this uh, this is this is off of one one fish and so What you'll have is you'll have little sections in here. So if you just lay it in your hand, kind of like this, it kind of helps to spread it apart a little bit. And you can just go butterfly them open. And lay them open like that, or you can just hang them like this and cut them up in the middle this is by far the fastest way to do it and so there you have a real nice set of eggs here and they're all opened up Now we'll just let these set out for a little bit, let the paper towel absorb any of the excess moisture that's on the eggs. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to take and put some salt on all these. And what that does, it helps to solidify 
he put a, gen a pretty liberal amount of salt on there and that helps to solidify and draw some moisture out of the eggs. Now there's a ton of different ways uh, to, to doing this. There's some professional cures out there that you can buy. But I'm just going to do a borax cure. Okay, so I can work this in and you can see that there's different layers in here. Little, little uh, rows that stand off of that membrane in the back. Just work that around a little bit, get that salt in there. Mama Rain hasn't kicked me out of the kitchen yet. Nope. She's just over there working away on something. Oh, she's making grape juice. Grape juice. Just pull it out of the canner. Okay, we'll let that sit there a little bit. Okay, once I got my salt, salt worked in here, um, I want to go ahead and just uh, put a little bit more paper towel on here. And just daub a little bit more of that moisture off of there. Now we're ready for borax. Just regular, good old fashioned, the old team borax will do. Then I just sprinkle this on. All the skeins here. Not being one bit shy about it. Generous amount. Now the trick is is to get all of the get get good coverage, get good adequate coverage in here in between every single one of these folds. You see how that's just sitting there and it's not in 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 the folds. Well, you want to try to get the get as much of that in there as possible, get it working in the into the seams. back and forth and open those up and get that really inside all of the seams. I'm being real gentle with this. I'm just kind of just lightly rolling this around in my hands. I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on it. And you can see that getting inside all of those crevices, each one of these little rows or layers. Now guys will have different ratios they'll be mixing this. Uh, I'm just kind of going to how it looks. Not being specific on, you know, one part this and one part that. I'm just kind of going on the fly. Like I say, there are several different w methods of doing this and that's just, this is just one way of doing it. Okay, now I can look into these folds here and cut little baits of egg off of here off of each one of these and so I'm going in between each one of these and cutting these into smaller chunks. Now you can cut them large or small however you want to do it. Um, general rule of thumb is the more murky the water is, the bigger your bait you want. And it goes with the spinners, the spin glows, and stuff like that as well. They make larger and smaller spin glows for different uh, different waters. See, I'm going in between each one of these little folds here. I mean, I got, I got two, maybe two folds on that one. That I'm going to keep like that. And you could just cut these up. This will make a lot of a lot of fish in here. And 
also going to put a little bit of salt or some sugar in here. Roll that around. Now you get yourself a Ziploc bag. Uh, so we're going to do half now and the other half I'm going to mix up later. So I'm going to put quite a bit of borax in there. A little more salt and sugar. Get air pocket in there. Roll that out to where it looks like a big pillow and just start mixing that up. Now naturally, with those cut the way they are, um, that should infiltrate all of the segments of those eggs. I'm just being real gentle mixing that up. Now there's some guys out there that just simply use borax and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna let these, I'm gonna dump these back out, let them sit for a little while longer. And while those are setting out on the paper towels, I'll get these other ones mixed up. Try to be careful not to uh, apply any force or any big pressure on these because uh, I don't want to burst the eggs. I want to keep the eggs in their natural form as much as we can. Obviously when you're working with this stuff you're going to break a few eggs. I'll get all the moisture I can out of the bag. I I'm going to reuse this bag here. I don't waste anything. Got our helper Cody with us here. Trying to see if any fresh eggs are falling on the ground. Okay, got the bag dried out. I'm going to put some more borax in here. Some dry borax. Maybe a cup and a half. I'm going to shake this wet borax off of here and put these eggs in this dried out bag. I'm going to try to get uh, a little coating of borax all around these eggs here. Keep the eggs from when you put them in the freezer they won't get all bunched up together. Okay, there you have it. Um, that should cure up nicely. So, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.